Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new portable power station. This is a Dapson DBS 1300. We have the inverter and today we're lucky enough to have an extra battery. This extra battery, you get 1,700 watt hour and the power station, you have 1,300 watt hour. So uh, 1,330 to be exact. Let's unbox this portable power station and see what it has. These are real cool. Not only can you run the inverter on two extra battery but you can actually parallel two of the inverters so i'll show you guys how that's done i don't have a second inverter but i can show you how it's done um, let's get it unboxed so we can see what they look like okay let's get them out of their boxes as you can see right here on the top all your all your charging cables and everything is in right here you have your manual and warranty card and everything else is in here real real thick padding so you shouldn't have to worry about this thing getting damaged in transit or shipping so like i was telling you guys this is a nice compact unit so if you're looking for something you can carry around real easy this should do it now let's get the extra battery out i just want to show you guys what they look like side by side same thing i'll show you once what's inside once we get it open real all right so in this box what it comes with you have your charging cable looks like an xt60 car charger so this tr plugs into your car and you can charge it this way mc4 Solid cable, MC XC60, solar cables. So you have your solar AC car charger. Let's see what comes with the extra battery. Okay, so the extra battery comes with the uh, cable, special cable, so you can plug into the inverter. Remember, this inverter can take two. So two extra battery. I have one to demo, and but you know that it can't take two. I'll go over all the plugs with you later on. Let's get all the cables on the side. We'll show these later on. So when it comes to charging this on AC, you can get 1,000 watt on AC charging. On solar charging, you can get up to 400 watts on solar. You can combine. So it does have dual charging. So you can combine your AC and your solar and get 1,400 watts charging. The car, you know, these usually only go up to uh, the 8 amps, 100 watts, so you don't overload the uh, car circuits. But that's not how we're really going to be charging this. Most people are going to be charging this through AC or solar. You come over here, the power. Go through the I already charged this one. It's up to 100%, so we can show you what it can do. This button right here, you have an LED light, two stage, and emergency flashing. And then that's off. On the display, real nice, bright display. You have your wattage over here, output, and you have the input wattage on this side. They also have a timer. I love when they have timer so you can actually see how long this thing's gonna last based on the load it's pulling. You do have your battery percentage right here. It is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable and app control. So that's really nice. You can control this with your app. Extra battery, let's turn it on. It shows the same thing, your input, output and input, your time, and your battery percentage. Before you connect these, you should have both of them off in the off position, connect them, and then you can turn them on. Turn them off. I'll turn them like this. When it comes to the extra battery, the only output plug it has is this right here, the extra battery port. On this one, it has a little flip-up tab. 
you flip this up, you have your XT60 solar input, 12 volt to 60 maximum, 12 amps. AC charging, you have your reset, like a communication cable right here, and your two extra battery ports. So you can use two batteries, two extra batteries on this. On this side, you have your parallel port. So this is where you would be able to parallel two of your inverters together. The AC output switch and 420 volt, 20 amp plugs, grounded plugs like that. All right, guys, let me show you the front of the inverter real quick. There's three USB A's on the front. All right, two of them, 2.4 amps. This one right here is a fast charge. Don't know how much it pulls, but it just says fast charge. And on this side, you have three USB C's. So this one you'll get 100 watts, and this two you'll get 30 watts. There's your input output switch. So this is for your uh, Bluetooth or Wi Fi. Switch that to turn it on, get it connected. The DC outputs, it does have a cigarette lighter style 12 volt output and two barrel ports. What I'm going to do now is put the extra battery on the top. It sits right on top. I'm going to use the uh, extra battery cable. The ports are on the side. You just line them up. And I always recommend that you do this while they're off. Plug one right here. And then on this side, you have two extra batteries. So I'm just going to pick one of them and plug it in. Once you plug it in, it automatically turns itself on. Inverter's on. Now oh, the extra battery came on. So the extra battery is outputting 27 watts into the inverter. Okay, so now let's do a quick load test and see if we can get the full capacity of this inverter and the extra battery, all right? So this one, remember I told you it'll put out 1,200 watts. So let's see if we can carry 1,200 watts. The other thing we're going to do is see how much power, how to balance the load with the extra battery connected. So let's turn on the power. Turn this on. First thing we're going to do is come over here and turn our AC on. Just this switch on the side. Okay, you heard the relay click. And a little sign came on here. So I'm I'm going to use this Variac to control my power. So let's go right about 300 watts output. And I can tell you right now they're balancing the load. This one pulling 177 out. This one's pulling 179, 180, 180. So they're balanced. Yeah, they're sharing the load exactly the same with the extra battery. If it didn't have the extra battery, all the load would be coming from this battery. So since I have the extra battery, it's sharing the load. If I had a second extra battery, I could put it on top, then they all would share the load evenly. Okay, so since I said 1,200 watts, let's see if we can get that. One thousand, one thousand two hundred and fifty. Let's just stay right there and see what happens. So we we're pulling one thousand two hundred and fifty. One thousand two hundred and sixty. Six thirty coming from this one. Six thirty coming from that one. Six twenty seven. 628. So they always stay balanced. We're pulling 1,219. Remember, it's 1,200. No, 1,294. 1,320, 
Another thing I like about these, they have the lithium ion phosphate batteries in them and they can get up to 4,000 cycles on this, okay? And they will only be going down to 80%. So that's really, really good. Wow, it's still holding way past its power. One thousand six. Yep, there you go. One thousand five hundred watt, and the power went off. So once the power's off, now I'm going to try the EPS mode, emergency power supply. So what I'm going to do is connect this to the wall. Connect this to the wall. I'm going to plug the AC in. Okay, so right away, plugged it in. Okay, input is pulling 100 watts, and this one pushed 143. So let's turn on a load while we on there and see the pass through. Get it up to a thousand. That's your output right here. Okay, so I'm pulling a thousand watts out. And all that power is coming from the AC. So it's not using the battery yet. Okay, so right there. 1,000 watts out, 1,200 in. It's also charging the uh, extra battery at the same time. So you do have EPS mode, meaning that you could plug it into the wall and it will handle your load and the charging at the same time. Pretty awesome. Now, so we're going to let it do some load. I'll add in some um, DC power and see what happens. Okay, so I want to see if my load, let me show you my load that lights over here. You can see it flicker. So I'm going to disconnect the power. Let's lower the amp, the load a little bit. Let's go to 500. Let's disconnect it. There you go. EPS works great. Let's hook in some solar. Let's see what happens when we get some solar in here. I'm not using real solar. I'm going to use this charging DC box to uh, get some power in here. So it said anything from 12 volts to 60 volts. Let's get a little over 12. There you go, I heard the click, so. Solar right here. You saw a little solar panel come up right here. So solar's coming in. And I'm pulling. the solar went up to 240 so it's pulling more solar because you have a load now because it was almost full it wouldn't allow a lot of solar coming in but now it's really putting in that solar 200 270 so we have 500 going out 300 coming in let's plug in the ac and see what happens Okay, so now I just have solar and AC coming in at the same time. We're almost at our max of 1,400. There it is right here. So solar and AC. There you have it, almost 1,400, and that's your max input. So it will handle up to 1,400 watts of 1,000 on AC and 400 on solar. On solar. 
All right, guys, so I think that proves the charging, the dual charging is works great. There we go. Listen up there. Next thing I want to show you is the DC charging. So it's getting some input from the external battery right now. See, it's pushing out. So in order to show you the DC charging, I'm going to plug this into a cigarette lighter and see how much we can pull from that. I'm using this portable power station right here, and you can see it's pushing out 124 watts from the cigarette lighter. So there you have it, guys, the Dapson DBS 1300, 1,200 max output, 1,330 watts on the inverter. Then you have 1,700 watts on the extra battery together with one, these two set up right here, 3,030 watt hour, just with one extra battery. You can parallel two of these to double your output. So then you go to 2,400 watt output on your inverters. Lithium ion phosphate battery, 4,000 cycles, 80%. Dual charging, so you can charge off solar and AC and get that 1,400 watts. The solar panel coming in is only 12 to 60. I would have liked to see that a little higher, at least 100, 150, so you can um, use bigger panels. You do have your power boost mode. And another part I want to show you guys before we end this video. So that's the app right here. You can see it's Dapson. There's my power station. Pull that up. And there you have it. You can control your AC. Turn the AC off. Power boost mode is right here. I don't like using power boost mode unless I'm using like a heater or something like that. Power boost mode, I don't like it because it lowers the voltage to increase the amp the wattage. Don't like that. You can turn your lights on. Brighter and lights off. Uh, you can see your outputs right here and all your inputs. So you can charge this three ways. AC solar and your car charger extra battery just makes it that much better if you're going to get this i recommend you get an extra battery to increase that power or if you guys really want to increase your power to 2400 watts get two inverter because i have a lot of people asking me can you parallel these this one you can so this is my first one that i can actually parallel to increase the power so that's pretty cool parallel capable all right guys Dapson DBS 1300. Check it out. I'll have the link in the description. I'll put the link to Dapson's website. Guys, if you want to check out a portable power station, real easy to carry with extra battery, parallel capable, and you can actually hook this one to two external battery, your second inverter to two extra battery, and then parallel your two inverters together. So you just have a whole portable power station that you can do all kind of different stuff with. I really like it. All right, guys, so there you have it, the Dapson DBS 1300. Guys, a really cool unit. I love the parallel capable. I love the dual charging, the EPS mode. It, it just has everything for, for a portable power station in this size. It has everything, the ex, extra battery port, parallel capable, dual charging, solar and AC. I mean, you can't go wrong with this one. If you're looking for something you can carry around with all the, the features, there you have it, Dapson DBS 1300. Guys, I will have the link in the description for this, so check it out if you want to see the pricing on it. I put the link so it's always have the updated pricing, all right, and updated sales. Guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.